Hi, I am Mali, and welcome to the channel. Occasionally, I do get creative blocks, and sometimes I am on a deadline. And even with that, I am able to generate these works in mid-journey. Their prompts might seem complicated, but they are not. Let me show you one of my creative workflows and the random technique I use in mid-journey. So, this random technique is straightforward, and no, it's not precisely putting random words in the prompt. I use ChatGPT for this. It wonderfully gives me a list of paired words, which I could have never come up with on my own, including colors, and that is what I input in mid-journey. How I use this depends on whether I use it for personal inspiration, conceptual art, or something the client wants. Let me give you an example. Recently, I had to make a print ad for a shampoo brand, and they were particular. They wanted the print ad to show the organic nature of the product. So, the basic formula I always use is this. List and pair five random words in a single line in reference to the following themes, cold, trees, mint, and orange. Don't use symbols in pairing them, but separate the pairs with a comma. Cold, trees, mint, and orange are not exactly random. The shampoo has a cooling effect, hence the words cold and mint. They specifically wanted the fruit orange, and their product is also organic. For the organic part, I used the word tree. After putting the input, I got frost pine, snowy cedar, chilled mint, icy birch, and cold orange peel. I am not cherry picking here, and this is what I got on my first try. I used a stylized value of 1000. I did add the word green in the prompt to emphasize the color. I usually do a couple of regenerations and pick the best one. However, I liked the first generation and chose the fourth image. I ran a subtle variation of the prompt in mid-journey and settled on this one. After some more editing in Photoshop, I was able to come up with this. And that is basically about it. The client liked it. I just replaced the bottle with their actual product, and I was done. To give you another example, I used the following, space, galaxy, colors, western, future, caveman, and biology. For this one, ChatGPT gave me this long list of random words. Here, I did tell ChatGPT to add colors to two of the words. But this was way too random. So, I shortened the prompt using the shortened command in mid-journey. And went with the first option. I upscaled the first one. Corrected the legs of the horse using vary by region. Let me show you some images I got using the same technique and random words. The words used here were ocean, heat, guitar, and tree. You can go completely wild with this and get some really long prompts that give beautiful results. Although if you go this long and random, Midjourney does ignore some words, and if you keep regenerating, it gives a wide range of results. But the technique is handy. For example, I would have never thought of the word otaku, which in Japan means it's a young person who is obsessed with computers. This one did take some regenerations. You can add a specific art style to the prompt. You can also be specific, add a subject to the prompt, and use random words from ChatGPT. The combination of words and creativity using this method is endless. I hope you learned something new for mid-journey. Happy prompting, and until next time.